and we're back for some more Persona 4 Golden. Um, this time around, we are going to get ready for the midterms. This is very, very close. Yay, schoolwork, my favorite thing of the year. Oh, my God. A anyways, yeah, just it's midterms. And as we all know, people who have been in school know that they suck. <laughs> yeah, they do. All right, so this is part of... All right, so what I'm doing right now is the uh, part of the fox eye quest the first the first one to increase the hermit rank um that and not all of them will be done in one day uh sometimes sometimes it may take um several yeah so it really all just depends on just kind of how you approach and because honestly you, you don't have to do them exactly the way that mike's doing it but this is probably what is his most optimal way to do it so just for, go with whatever works for you yeah pretty much um ooh, what's this Cutscene. Hmm? Something is very different. Maria is nowhere. Right. Mamma mia, she's nowhere to be found. Hmm? What is this that you see on the floor? Uh, this is um exclusive to Persona 4 Golden. It's hmm. something. It's something will pop up once in a while. Um, it, it's, it's part of her poetry. Listen to my voice. I think you get several. Um, my shouting. I think I think there's several voice. more of these things. Here I am. If I'm remembering my own pouring my five blood into my words. Correctly, uh, yes. Yelling four. at the very four, yeah. Persona four, yeah. Persona five golden. That'd be amazing. Yeah, P4G. I am yeah. the little well, mermaid. Well, well, we already I'm got, we already got an expansion. We already got an expansion the version, but that's it's called Persona five the royal. Faded yeah. To fall. The little. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, Phantom Strikers has finally been announced. It's going to be coming out in February of next year. Oh crap! We're caught. Yeah, it's coming out for PS4. Nintendo no, I was saying caught in terms of the poem. Oh yeah, caught re yeah caught reading the poem. Uh yeah, so yeah, Persona Five uh, Scramble is gonna be coming out. Yeah, February of next year on PS4, uh, Switch, and Steam actually. But why was it on the floor? I don't get it. And back to her seat. She had no idea why she threw away a piece of paper that had her, that had that had her that had her uh, poem on it. Perhaps there's something more to it than that. Maybe we'll find out later on. Yeah, maybe. So, nice cutscene right there. Just you just entered the velvet room just for the cutscene. <laughs> well, like I said, there'll be several more um, things about it. Yeah. All right, so going up to the district. Yeah, I, I think I'd take another uh, beef bowl challenge here. Which means more save scumming. Pretty much. Uh, cause I'm trying to avoid knowledge for this one, cause I already got like enough knowledge for me to uh, not only get a decent score for the midterms, but um, <coughs> presume I get every question right. I also get a reward as well. Yeah. I able to finish your meal. Understanding knowledge. <laughs> uh, whoops. Oh well. So you went home. Yep, went home for this one. Don't want to get cold. Yeah, I think that, uh, oh yeah, I do soft check. I do, um, re reload my data here. There we go. So what are you aiming for? Courage, diligence, and what else? Um, I think it was courage, diligence, and, um, understanding, I think it was. Okay, cool. I think that, um, yeah, I, I, I believe this was the only other time I um. You had to save scum. Yeah, I at least I think at least I think though it has been a while, like like it's been it's been almost two weeks since I have uh, actually recorded this. Yeah, because our work schedule has just just been nuts th this month. Yeah, it's been ridiculous because he's been working nights mainly, and then of course with me work has been ridiculous because of the stupid um Christmas holidays coming up, and that's always a joy to deal with. Yeah, and I thought I edited this out, but I guess I guess not. Rep. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Um. Well. Let's see, let's see if we can, see if we can know this one more time. Yeah, I I think I think I had the intention of of editing it out, but it just completely slipped my mind. Maybe that's why this part is as long as it is. <laughs> Probably, most likely, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, most likely. I'll I'll have to make a habit that. Uh, to make a mental note next time that, that that whenever I need to save scum, I need to cut out all these attempts here. Oh my god, yeah. 
I, I think it's just one of those things where uh, if I if I if I put it off for too long, I'll, I'll I start to forget about certain things like yeah. what to cut out and whatnot. Yep. Understanding, courage, diligence. There we go. All right, third time's the charm. Nice. All right, so it, was, at least it wasn't that long. Yeah, but still, you need to remember to edit. I know, I know. That's on me. Oh my god. So, anyway, since we're on the subject of school and since Welcome midterms home. are coming up tomorrow, at least for your character, what was your worst subject in school? My worst subject? Ooh. Yeah. Uh. Well, I guess if I had, I guess if I had to pick a worst subject to me, it was probably. Uh, between science and history, probably probably yeah. tears a bit more. Um, probably tears a bit more history because I just don't really. Um, my attention span isn't that great when it comes to learn about uh, historical events of the sort. Yeah. My attention span just wasn't that great, particularly mm -hmm. there. Yeah. And as for me, it's definitely math. <laughs> I could not do math to save my life. I was never great with numbers. Let's just put it this way with me with math. I actually did decent in algebra, but geometry and trigonometry are just no. Oh hello. Nope. It's me, Chie. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you're alone in this one. Um, so for this one, we actually do spend the day with Chie. Yeah. Nice. Because I think. That if you choose to decline, I think she won't be available for the rest of the day. Um, and I uh, don't quote me on it, but hmm. I believe that's what does happen. Kashi. Oh yeah, she is childhood friend. Um, oh yeah, I think it's like one of those uh, preschool terms that um, that's not yeah, it. one of those preschool, um, one of those kindergarten memories that, that they would run up. That, that he would bring up, I guess, all of a sudden. It, it, it's something. It's something only an old friend would do. Now, I think if you have um, enough courage, you'll be able to pick the third option. But I think there's a new game plus only um, exclusive there, especially if you didn't max out your courage. So you would probably have to pick the second option. Yeah, um, he seems to be—he seems to be trying to get into uh, Shia's head, or, or is he just, or is he just like um, I don't know, de uh, you know, you know, desperate? I guess. I don't know. This guy's annoying me already. Oh, he—he's gone now. Good. She did look somewhat sad though. Well, I guess they were friends, so. Yeah, again, you don't have again. You would have to have max courage in order to um. Or at least a high enough courage level to be able to do this. Mm -hmm. So the next best option is to crack a joke. <laughs> nice. <coughs> yes, he's indeed rude. But yeah, but yeah, I guess. Um, I guess, I guess it's just one. Of, I guess it's one of those things where um, they they knew each other, but I guess they weren't that close. That's, that sort of thing. Yep. All and right. that really annoying thing every single time you rank up. Well, at least it's not like Persona Three, where you have to sit through the theme over and over again every time you rank up. It just skips right True. to the. True. It's not quite like that. Anyways, we get ice boost for uh, Chie here. That basically is self-explanatory. It just powers up her ice attacks. Gonna make a little bit, Let's head home. slightly more of a good threat on the special. See you later. On the magic side, on the magical side of the spectrum. Yeah, I guess so. It Not really it, much. It, it'll probably be useful for now. Yeah, mm. for sure. Oh, what's the matter? Um, so, yeah, so yeah, this is a, this is another exclu exclusive scene um, to Golden. Well, this was not in the original PS2 game. I 
made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told I mean, flowers us is that one of, today is one of more you give your gifts, mom flowers. On like Mother's Day or Father's Day, but you I don't, don't ha have a mom, least, so and you, guys, you don't, don't have to necessarily resort to a bouquet. I mean, I mean, usually, usually like a Mother's Day is card with. You know, maybe a gift card of their favorite store is normally enough. At, le at least for me, anyways. Yeah. Well, but you, how do you celebrate Mother's Day normally? I just hang out with my mom usually. Yeah, I, I guess nothing. I guess nothing special. Probably a dinner, but like nothing like too drastic. Yeah, I understand. So this puts you put her. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to take care of something huh? for a second. I didn't realize that. Uh, the text box. You mean the, the family the choice text box went on for a little longer than there. I realized. He yeah. said it gets to mom in heaven. Do you think my flowers will get to her too? I did a really good job on mine. My teacher said they were pretty too. I wonder if my mom will be Before, happy. To yeah, get he them. keeps nodding his head like yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You should make a flower too, big bro. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. Right, so they basically make the origami uh, flowers. Pretty much here. I don't think it really leads to anything. It's just a little extra scene that we happens. Did it. Mm -hmm. Still cute though. Yeah, I, I suppose. And Dojima's MIA apparently. Yeah, he's, at, yeah, he's stuck at work. All right, I think, um, yeah, this is where I started reading uh, begin beginner fishing is because at some point we are going to be doing a fishing side quest. So you might as well get that out of the way as much as you can. Yeah, um, I, yeah, definitely as early as you can, to be honest. <laughs> because, because, because without mastering the book, you're not going to be able to actually fish. Yes, you have to actually read a book on how to fish. In order to actually fish in this game, <laughs> it's not like any other Zelda game where all they do, where all they do, is just give you a fishing rod and then just fish for rupees or for the biggest size fish you can find. Oh God, we should get to school ASAP before we're in trouble. Or, or just fish for like a heart piece. That works too. <laughs> oh my God. Hmm. Exams are finally starting. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I don't think the choice really matters here. Yeah. There, 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 there Chie. At least exams are only temporary. Yep. True. Okay, so basically the way the midterms and, of course, finals exams are going to... Uh, play out. Yeah, play out is that they'll repeat a question... But they'll word it a bit differently at times. Yeah. So as long as you remember what the previous answers were, uh, it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah. I feel like you've chosen the correct answer. In fact, um, another thing to watch out for is where the answer uh, is because just because the, the right answer might have been in a previous slot doesn't mean they'll be at the exact same uh, slot, if you know what I mean. Like, in, yeah. other, like in other words, uh, if one of the questions had the top answer, which was the right answer... Oh, yeah. Does not exist. Marriage numbers don't exist. <laughs> say the top one yes it is yes it was nice yeah i wonder if it's like one of those things where um in japan you only just do exams all week and and nothing else i really that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for me to do honestly as soon as laws are necessary for men they are no longer fit for freedom well um I, I forgot. Was it like an all-week exam thing? Um, For me, I think my classes only had... I only had like two exams a day. Okay. Because I only had seven classes per day. Okay, so it was two exams. Okay, so it was like basically done in one day 
essentially. Yeah, for well, if I had like two classes on say Monday, I would do my two exams and then I could leave and then rinse and, rinse and repeat. I see, I see. I guess the good thing about doing these exams in game is it does um, move forward the day as quickly as possible. That's a good thing. Finally over, thank God it's for that. Finally over. Ooh, what a load off. Of course, this won't be the I last we've seen of these. Feels like um, this after exams are over. Yeah. yeah. Well, not hey, well. That's the last we we'll see of the midterm, but it won't be the last we we'll see of so um, finals or anything like that. The one about what that. Oh, they'll be back. Sentence? Um, I put her sorrowful expression. Oh crap! Then I got. What kind of answer is that? Rice cakes on top of the table. <laughs> rice cakes? Wait, was that what the story was about? All right, Ooh. I'm giving Ooh. up on composition. I'm gonna bet it all on geography. What did you tallest choose for the tallest the mountain system. in the solar you know system? It's interesting because I never knew there was mountains in the solar system. Like, uh, do, do mountains just, like, like I chose the wrong one. form on plants or something like Ooh, that? Oh, I put that one too. Whoa, you two? Oh, no, actually. That's probably the right answer. Or is it just like Boy, I can't there are mountains based on to be planet posted Earth, on Mahal where everyone can see and, them? and Mount Jeez. Olympus was the tallest mountain hey, there is. Did you hear? Because Earth is part of the solar system. Filming here in town. They're probably just doing more stuff about that hanging corpse case. No, it's not that. You know the highway nearby? Oh yeah, and this is the start of the. Hang um, around a friend of mine goes to the biker meeting sometimes. Oh yeah, this, heard this is sort of a new part Dude, of the story where we're we doing hanging out with a guy in a biker gang. Well, anyways. What do you think about tomorrow's group blind date? We were gonna meet outside, but it's gonna rain soon, right? Won't it be better to play it safe tomorrow, too? Biker gang? Oh, yeah. They raise a ruckus from time to time. See, I, I see you, you may have noticed, too, that uh, whatever becomes a talk, right talk of the month the or noise something, can drive you insane. or talk of the town I for a little bit, is what the public is most interested in about. Yeah, uh, that, that's I know there are some rumors the, about a first year student of the game story, he's a total hellraiser. One of the guys because, you know, working when the rumor goes around, you get help but to the legend ever since middle school. Spicy and Although, interesting. Was he in a biker gang? Did did you say he was it's a just legend? typical gossip? Uh, it's not what you think, Yukiko. So a nice bit of preview. No choice but to wait for yet another rainy night. Yep. Just like we do every night. Try to wait for the rain to come so we can yes. watch the Midnight Channel. Yep. Hey, you, listen. It worked. All right, so this basically completes the um, the, Itash the Itasumi uh, Shrine quest. At least, at least part of it, anyways. Mm -hmm. Now, when you report back to the fox, keep in mind that it will take up a portion of your day. Um, so, um, you only really want to do when, when there's really no one else that's, you know, available. Yeah. But also, when you do do it, um, that would also mean a new side quest will be unlocked uh, as, as part of the, um, um, as, as part of the hermit, arc, as part of the, uh, hermit social link. So, it, it's not like you can't do them all in one go and then just re report back to the fox for, for all ten of them in a row. No. You have to complete one, uh, quest at a time. Yeah. Probably just to prevent one, probably just to prevent the... One rank from getting too ahead of the others. Yeah, pretty much. Should you buy it? Yes, you can. I mean, I, figure, I, mean, I figure why not? I mean, it's a free. It's well, not really a free, free item, but it's a rather cheap item. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, so where are you off to next? Uh, back to high school, I go. I suppose I just had to make a quick trip to Juness to, to, to buy um. Do I something that's sure to help you study? Well, we are a, we are a study. <laughs> <laughs> Let's study further. Well, we have not quite mastered the uh, knowledge stats, so I guess uh, so. I guess so. <laughs> oh my god. Hey. All right. So next we'll be increased. We're gonna be um, spending spending the day with Yumi in the drama in the drama practice in the drama club. Okay. There we go. Increased. Yeah, I don't think um, expression was a um, 
was a stat again in uh, Persona 5. I think this was the only time they actually introduced expression. Nice. Yeah. Because um, if I remember correctly, in Persona 3, the social... The... The stats you had increased, which I think was academics, charm, and courage. I think it was. It has six levels too, or well, like six six ranks. Yeah. And this and this one is just five social links with five um, social stats rather with uh, five separate ranks. Did she go to the hospital? Hmm. Well, she heard something about her mom, so she's gonna she's gonna hurry on and look. I thought she was just fine. But yeah, uh, but yeah, if you did pick Yumi, um, if you did pick, if you did pick the drama club, this is what you would be getting here. Obviously, if you pick the music club, you would uh, you would elude this entirely. But this is just um, I, I guess I, I guess I introduced the choices of who you like to rank up with, so you get to see a different side of um. Of um, another confidant, I suppose. Yeah. Like, uh, like if you didn't pick Yumi, you would pick the other girl, um, the, the really, really short girl. Yeah. And you get to see what she struggles through. Seems like there's some sort of family issues here. Basically, daddy issues, I guess. Yep. I, I, I guess the con I guess the context of the story is that um, <clears throat> I guess the context behind this was that um, uh, Ayumi's dad um, le left left the mom to, to be with another woman, and then sometime afterwards he got sick, and now he got now he's terminally ill. Yeah, and Yumi does not want to see him because she's like, well, he didn't he wasn't there for us when we needed him. Why should we be there for him? Yeah, that that sort of thing. And obviously, this put a strain in, uh, in, in, you know, mom-daughter relationship. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the, the, the way he does his stance when he was like, I guess he's supposed to be a, act a little, <clears throat> supposed to be like a little surprised. I guess. I don't know. I can't believe this. You know, it would take someone with the patience of a saint to kind of, kind of take everything she says personally because, you know, one can clearly see that she's very distressed and she doesn't even, and she's not, you know, meaning what she's saying. Yeah. Because a normal person would probably flip out on her back as well, causing basically for it to be all combustible element. Like, someone has to have the patience of a saint to kind of, like, just let someone just, you know, let everything out, get everything out of their system, I guess. You know, I, th I think there's actually a similar side quest too, where um, I I'm think you sorry. need a certain amount of understanding um, to do. I think it's like try to teach a girl have a a straight up conversation. It's part of the hermit side. It's part of the uh, hermit side quest you do later on. Yeah. I, I think I think <laughs> there is something similar. Maybe not. Maybe not that extreme though. Mm -hmm. So. Um, all right, we rank up with the we rank up the Son of Kana. It's now at rank three. Then she's filled with doom and gloom, and this is gonna be like that for her for a while. I feel bad for her though, honestly, knowing that your mom actually lied to her. Why? Considering the fact that she only lied to see her quote unquote father. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and this is also exclusive to Golden right here. Now, in the original version, you don't get a support rank with Adachi. Mm -hmm. uh, here you do. So this is the other exclusive um, um, social link that you get in, in, uh, in Golden, not mm -hmm. just with Marie, but you also get one with Adachi as well. So, you should be on the, so we need to be on the lookout for Adachi next time you go to Juness. Keep that in mind, people. Oh yeah, indeed. Yep. Especially since they actually have um, some new endings you can get. A couple new endings I think you can get as well. Huh, nice. So I think I've only... I think I've played more of the P4 G version than the regular P4. I think he played a bit of both. Uh, yeah. Although I think he played a regular more he did uh, P4G. I think for the most part you only watched me play uh, P4G. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay, this is another new thing you can do. You can actually spend the night making lunch. Nice. Now, what's, now what makes it interesting is that you can use it as a way to uh, grow closer to one of your friends who you're already acquainted with. You know, like if you're not going to be able to rank up with them right away, well, inviting them to lunch will help you um, get close, get, you know, open, open the door for that chance to happen. Which is a good thing. Lunch so, break. So like, so like right now, I'm going to be inviting, I think, uh, Daisuke to lunch. Because sometimes, um, um, instead of spending the day hanging out with them, only to not have your rank go up, and, right. and say, oh, your bond may be, may be getting close to deepening soon, uh, inviting them to lunch is a surefire way to do that as well. Because you can do that during the morning. And still be able to, and still be able to do something for the midday. Rather spending time with them again, this, rather spending this time with good. them again, or hanging out with someone else. So, so you get a lot more done by doing this. Yeah. I, I think that was in the original too, where you can. I think this was in the original where you can make lunch. Uh, I don't remember. And remember that you have a job you have to go to to make money. Oh yes, you mean the. Um... Daycare. Yes, daycare. Um, probably not gonna be doing that for a little while. I don't think so, anyways. How come? Cause um, I don't get, I don't um, I don't get to into I think sometime later. Especially since the next few days is gonna be mandatory. That makes sense. Well, mandatory for in-game purposes, anyways. Yeah. All right, so this is where you will find Adachi here. Um, if you go, this is your first opportunity oh. to rank up with him right now. Come here, can I help you? What are you doing? This sucks. Oops. All right, so interesting. Like we hang out with the little, with the uh, slacker here. So basically, just like uh, the main character, Adachi was also a city boy, and um, when, when he moved out into Iniba, which is a smaller, quieter town by comparison, he was, I guess, basically a little let down. Yeah. That oh, there's yeah. not really anything to do. Yeah. <sighs> yeah the city is so cheap. They won't cover his cleaning bill. Well, that sucks for him. Yeah, so basically, I guess what he's Sorry. saying is the uh, even the Indiba police is, is in disarray. Yeah. Because they have no clue how to approach this case. This bizarre murder case. But yeah, there we go. We have unlocked a new um, arcana here. This is the Jester Arcana. Ooh, Jester. This is this is another one of those um, types of persona that you just can't get in a normal battle. You have to actually fuse personas together. So uh, for a good while, we would need a Jester Arcana. Oh, 
Time for me to get back to work. Well, you know. As soon as he says that, Creed. <laughs> he has to hide from an old lady. Oh my god. Whew, that was close. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll get you'll get why he he hid from the old woman. See, I ya. think at some point, yeah, you do. You you actually learn why that's the case, and it's rather amusing. But yeah, you made sure Adachi went back to work. That way, he won't snitch. That he won't snitch on him. Yep. Young men recklessly riding their motorcycles, disturbing the peace of a quiet rural town. Our special report took right, a turn so this for the is, um, when one of the apparent leaders attacked the camera I guess you can see the second part the of crew. this, um... The hell are you punks doing here? Um, of this Midnight Channel arc. Voice. Where we this see a new a face on Get TV. Bent. Still up to the same and old he, tricks. And he's going to be the talk of the town for a while. Do you know him, Dad? Uh, well, I know him through Kanji work. Tatsumi. His name's Kanji yes, Tatsumi. Yes, uh, that's the next person we're going to be on the lookout for. He's been crushing biker gangs in the area since middle school, but I thought he'd got into a high school and started attending class. Hmm? Huh. Man, that blur sure is pointless. It's completely yeah, obvious here. Uh, uh, how is it a blur when we ourselves can clearly see show. him on TV? I, think what happened was I don't he know. Crushed the local you know, bikers um, if Atlas, if the Atlas really wanted to go the extra mile, there. they could have just added nice a blur anyway. It's just right there. Yeah. Or, 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 right or at least one of those long black rectangles that could cover his eyes. Oh, the weather report's showing on the bottom. It's going to rain tomorrow. Or even better, yeah, that big sensor sign. Inside the house. <laughs> that that, that oh shape that shape like a God. stop sign. Yeah. Whoa! It started raining. The weather was right. I guess the weather report was right. I'm the weather lady. I always get the weather right. Oh my God! That means the show's probably gonna I mean, be on. I mean, it's like Nanako said. Does this lady get to decide the weather? One. Mm. Yeah, that'd be best. But if we do, maybe we'll see some kind of clue that can point us toward the killer. Well, everyone, don't forget to check your TV tonight. Got it? Seems to be another rainy night. What will you see on the Midnight Channel? Who knows? Who knows? But we care, so we bother. Well, you have to sort of care. Because I know, I know. <laughs> Welcome home. All right, so there's not really anything else to do but to go to your room, check the Midnight Channel to progress the story. Yep. You know, I, I, you know, I can I can never see how one would be able to stay up that late without falling asleep first. I mean, I guess do they uh, do do they just um, you know fool around? Do they read a book? A figure of yours. Seems seems to be a man. But wait, it's a young man who wears a high school uniform. Hard to tell who it is. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Hard to tell who it is, but someone who wears. Uh, his jacket without actually wearing it. More he had it <laughs> draped over his shoulders. Let's try calling Yosuke. I, I should probably do that, because otherwise I'm going to forget to do it. Mm. I think if you um, click on wait oh, till tomorrow, I, was just about to I think yourself. Yosuke sort of calls you out of the so blue anyways. Yeah. It was a guy, wasn't it? I wish I could tell what he looked like. Which I'm pretty sure that's what, what does happen. Let's get together and talk more about it tomorrow. You hung up. <laughs> You decide to go to bed for tonight. Yeah, and get like six hours of sleep. Yep. <laughs> we will now hold a meeting on yeah, this investigation. This is when they get a little over the top. Slash murder case here in Inaba. Dude, take a breath. Oh, then does special that make this place special headquarters? Yes, exactly. Nicely put, Yukiko. All right, so the special um, headquarters. Hmm. Right, so basically, the Scooby Gang nice here has gotten to together and try to solve this Anyways, mystery again. What was on yeah. last night? Well, solve more of the mystery, I should say. Did you watch last night? I saw it too. I couldn't get a good view of the person's face, yes, but hello, it was a guy, wasn't it? Yep, another another one of those high schoolers. So that's how I looked on TV. Hmm? Wait a moment. Hmm. Wait a moment. Have Didn't common? all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? 
That's what we thought. Yeah, but we yeah, still basically don't know they were exactly scrambling for answers here. So now, um, in my case, the image on the midnight channel Emil, changed. You know, that was the initial was pattern, right? but but then it switched over to yeah. a guy. The screen got clear um, all of a sudden, being, being and the show, program looked like some low-budget TV. TV show. Yeah. Come to think of it, maybe um, Teddy was right. So they won't. We so they don't the really get what the pattern is until I think a little a little over halfway through. Couldn't see whoever it was. Could that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? If so, then. Yeah, because here's the thing. Um, uh -huh. When he only appeared, when technically he appeared in the midnight TV, on the midnight channel, is, but can we the image him from is blurry, taken? then that means they're, yeah. they're not yet in and the TV world. And if all goes well, we might catch yeah. the killer it's only, in the party. It's only when the image is clear, like, but to do that, um, we like need to know who Chris, the latest midnight channel you know, star is. Clear, I hate clear to say day, it, but um, yeah. I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what then happens. Then you know, then you know they're thrown into the TV. Well, that means if my deductions are correct. Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumptions. Since we cannot identify the person at this time, we have no choice but to wait and see what happens. <laughs> that's exactly is, is what we just, just said. Is she just stating the obvious, or Shut did up! she like... Is either she just <laughs> stating the obvious, or did she really not pay attention? <laughs> And Yukio is in her giggling fits. <laughs> You're so funny, Chie. <laughs> oh no! Or, or did she just about... pretend for a moment that Yosuke is somewhere was not, not in the, was, was somewhere not in the uh, vicinity? Sorry. <laughs> this is how Yukiko really is, huh? So this is what Yukiko Who really is like—a laughing hyena. By the way. Get the About that guy we I've saw? Seen him I get before. the feeling I've seen him before. Pretty recently, too. Pretty recently, too. Oh, you too? Hmm. Yeah, I've been thinking could the same thing that, since last night. Could it be that member well, of that biker gang? Check the TV again tonight Maybe. and think about it more tomorrow. We shall find out. <laughs> all right, so, um... <clears throat> when are you going to stop that, All right, so that's uh, all the time we hyena? have for um, right now. The next time we meet, we're actually going to be getting into <laughs> more of this... One, Kanji Tatsumi person and see what see what's going on. Um, until then, I hope you all are still safe during this pandemic. Um, and we will see you next Welcome time. Back. Bye. Wash your hands.